Donald Trump promised just weeks ago that, um, and we heard this uh, reporting in the White House, that they're going to focus on cultural issues. Now, because there was a mass shooting a week ago, and because um, Donald Trump is not aware of any African-American um, sports figures who have in any way tried to uh, exercise any of their rights or have functioned uh, in the public sphere, he is left to uh, fight these social wars, these cultural wars, on the gun grounds. And so here he is, Donald Trump, spouting the right-wing talking points that he got from the NRA um, in reference to teachers carrying guns. Here's his plan, folks. Talking about That was at a gun-free zone on a military base. Well, a school is frankly no different. I want my schools protected, just like my banks are protected, just like everything else. And I get a kick. I was watching a politician, weak, ineffective politician last night. I'll tell you in there, but I don't want to embarrass anybody. And he was talking about no guns, no this, no that. And yet he's surrounded by three guys carrying guns. I said, well, when are they going to give up their guns? They're not going to give up their guns. But he wants everybody else to have no guns. All right. Pause it. So it sounds like what Donald Trump is suggesting is a three to one ratio, three armed guards, well-trained professionals for every student in every school. Is that what is that what's going on here? Let's continue. Um, so, and you have plenty of them. So we have to harden our sights. We have to be very careful. And these people, as adept as they may, they have to go to training, I would say every six months or every year, they have to have a, a fairly, you know, really a rigorous course in what they're doing. Pause it. Now, let's take it. So we're talking a rigorous course. Once every six months, maybe once a year. I don't know. What, do you, what would you do? Would you go for like three days? And so three days of training a year. Maybe you could do a week. You got to pay for it yourself, too. Six, maybe you get a tax credit. Six days. Do you know how little training even uh, um, uh, New York City police officers get? They don't get. They don't even get training like that. And uh, But you get this training your teacher, you would re-up. I guess theoretically, you would go into class. Now, you've got a gun. You're packing a gun. And do we know which teachers are going to be the ones? Or is every kid in class going to be like, hey, is, is Mr. Johnson, is he the one who was packing? I heard a rumor that uh, the new geometry guy is the one who's packing this semester. Now, of course, you also got to hope that this teacher is totally responsible with the guns, even more so than security guards who have left guns in bathrooms and whatnot. Because then all of a sudden you're giving access to a gun and uh, from the kid. Now, the kids know a teacher has a gun. Maybe that gun becomes the source of it. So, I mean, you can see how just utterly ridiculous this proposal is, but that's not going to stop them. They have to go to training, I would say, every six months or every year. They have to have a, a fairly... You know, really a rigorous course in what they're doing. And they should be paid extra doing? money. Oh, pay Those them. teachers should be paid extra money. So they get a bonus, and they'd love getting that bonus, too. And it would be much less expensive than the guards. It wouldn't look bad. You know, if you have guards, it looks like you have a, an armed camp that would look terrible. Because people are talking, we're going to put a lot of security guards in the buildings. It would look terrible. So the idea is that we wouldn't want to actually just deter people by the look of it. We want them to actually come in and engage the teachers so the teachers can take them out. Soft sets have a little something to them. You know, teachers... What's the lesson plan today, Miss Peck? <laughs> teachers spend 500 to $1,000 of their own money on school supplies every year. We saw a teacher recently die because she couldn't afford to pick up her prescription, but now they get a bonus. Now they get bonuses they get bonus. for guns and they get fancy guns bought for them. And, you know, they just need, if this should come to pass, what the teachers should do is they should turn these guns right around, flip them, and use the money for prescriptions and school supplies. Boom. That would be great. Actually, mean, oh, they they all flip their guns and they just instead come in with bow and arrow. I sell it to students. 
I uh, like knives or just a bunch of militantly armed teachers. Like maybe this could actually. Yeah, work. yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah, no, I think we will take that raise, and I'm not interested in the new standardized testing plan. Yeah. Can we get some anti-aircraft? Yeah, that yeah. is <laughs> yeah, exactly. how a revolution started in Oaxaca not that long ago. That's Let's true. teach your demo. Uh, this is begging for an Obama. Like they will, they will be trained every uh, six months or so. <laughs> <laughs> I like <laughs> camp. You know, it looks really bad. That's all they. <laughs> But I would have to be uh, a trade, you know, in a certain sense. There was a senator the other night. He had uh, very weak. I'm sorry. I mean, it's just, names. is there any way that we recover from this? I mean, honestly, like, no. Like, uh, we're at the point where it's just like, hey, man, let's just ride who, this who, out. Who's going to pay attention to politics when we actually, if we ever have a president who's like actually going to get up there and say stuff that is, you know, thoughtful and not like, like where it's not even like it's, it, you know. I mean, w when is that going to happen? I'm so, you know, obviously I'm so annoyed by like, you know, normie, liberal, whatever. But I have to say the contrast, because I really wasn't looking at much news this past week. But like, you know, Obama putting out his tweet to the kids like, you've been who we've been waiting for versus <laughs> like, so you wouldn't want it to look like it was guarded, but it would be like a bank. Look, <laughs> and teachers would have guns. You know, Donald Trump has just come out. <laughs> Donald Trump has just come out and said, you don't know. Until you test it. But I think, I really believe I would have run in there even if I didn't have a weapon. <laughs> like, First of all. You don't know what would happen until you're in the circumstances, but I'm pretty sure I would have been a pussy. <laughs> I'm not a sheriff honestly, deputy. I would have tackled First of the all, motherfucker. When was the last time Donald Trump ran anywhere? I would have ginger. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What one important would, caveat here? Are there, are there stairs? stairs? <laughs> are there steps? Are there stairs if when I'm averting the ramp, If there's a ramp, I probably would have done. I it. would have been on what's what is it? What is it that the retards come in on the handicap thing? I would have been on that ramp, and I would have God. stopped the shooting. God, oh God! <laughs> Call from a four oh five.